Hello, my name is Ann Brock. I'm going to be taking you through this reporting scenario. What if reports didn't require a dedicated report team with usually several week turnaround time? What if graphical dashboards were easily available? And what if your service desk could respond quickly to requests for information? First, let's meet Charlotte. Charlotte is a director in the IT organization. Among her many roles, she needs to update business service owners on how their services are doing. Of course, she also coordinates activities throughout the department, works on special projects, and does a lot of other things as well. Today, though, we're really going to focus in on her role around coordinating with the business service owners. We also have Emma. Emma is a member of the IT support organization. She really likes to help out customers. She's focused on making IT support help the business, not hinder it, and is always looking for new ways to help her company be successful. So as I mentioned, today we're focusing on reporting. In today's scenario, Emma gets a call from Charlotte. And Charlotte says, Emma, I'm meeting with the business service owners today. I really need to know how their costs are doing. How are we doing on costs for these services? Preferably by account and category. So Emma, can you get me this kind of report? Emma says, sure, no problem. She, remem she goes to the reports folder and she remembers that she saw a report that had some costing in it before. So she's going to bring that one up, the service request cost reporting, and see how that one looks. It's got some pretty good stuff in it. It's got a list of requests and it's got cost, but it's not exactly what Charlotte wanted. So Emma's going to quickly do some modifications to it. She's going to hit the Save As button and go ahead and name this maybe Charlotte's report and save it in the folder. Ah, if I could type. And now Emma can start working on this report without affecting the, the initial report because people might be using that. So she's going to go ahead and hit on the customize button. We'll show you some quickly just some of the things you can do within the reporting module. So as she's working on this, she doesn't really need it by state open anymore. So she's going to go ahead and remove that grouping. But she does want it by account. So she's going to group by account and she wants it by category. So all the fields on the left are available to add to the report. You can double click them, you can drag them over. And of course, if you had any, any uh, fields that you added, those would be available too. And then maybe she wants to add total costs to here as well, because again, this is to the business service owners, what's been going on, not just pricing, but also in cost. But she wants that cost grouped at a particular level, right? So she's gonna go ahead and edit that formula Go to then group it at the category level so we know by category how much these services are costing. She figures they probably also want to know price so she can go ahead and summarize by that field as well or just leave it there. So she's feeling okay about this so far but it'd be prettier with the chart, right? So she's going to go ahead and add a chart. In this case she's going to add a bar chart. Again you have a variety of chart types available here, a variety of things you can do. So we'll go ahead and sort it, sort it by, group it by category within account, and then hit that formatting tab to show some of the other things you can do. She likes to enable hover, she always likes that, and there are other things we can do as well. So very quickly, Emma has taken an existing report, modified it, added a chart to it, and she's doing pretty good. Maybe she doesn't want all charts, maybe she just wants a range. So she's gonna say for the current fiscal year, we're going to pick those incidents and she's going to go ahead and run the report. So here we have a report. We didn't have to go to a report writing team. We didn't have to do anything specific. Emma was able to do this with it using the force reporting that Remedy Force leverages. Let's go ahead and save this, Charlotte's report, and let's add it to the executive dashboard so that Charlotte can see it graphically as well as running the report. So we already have the dashboard open here. When we want to add the report, we just go ahead and first, you know, we can find the report. When I refresh the search, I can see that Charlotte's report is there on the list. I can drag it over into an empty space over here. Then I can say how I want it to look. In this case, we, we want it to look like a horizontal bar chart. So I'm going to go ahead and drag that over as well. So now I'm adding it to the dashboard. Again, just a couple click operation to go ahead and do that. So now that I have the chart on here, I can go ahead and edit those options again. And maybe I want to do things like show values, show chatter photos if those are available, whatever I want to do out here. And again, we've got some component data here. We're going to go ahead and group by auto. 
have this available. So I was able to update the executive dashboard. Now all I have to do is save it, and that dashboard is going to be um, going to be available. Emma wants to do a little bit more. She's hoping that Charlotte's you know, she knows Charlotte's going to be running around, so she wants to make sure it's also available out on her mobile device. So Emma's just going to check out there using the Salesforce One app and make sure it's available through that through the mobile as well. So out here we have Emma's mobile. Again, she's using Salesforce One, the mobile access from Salesforce. As you can see on the left, all of her items are available here, including the dashboards. So she can come into here, and these are all the dashboards she's been looking at lately. She can go ahead and pull up that executive dashboard and make sure that chart is going to appear. So you can already see there are some charts out here. You can just keep looking through, and eventually we're going to come to the one that Charlotte had. And here we can see the dashboard available. So Emma now knows that Charlotte, when she goes to her meeting this later this afternoon, will have that dashboard available and be able to give people the information that they need to manage their business services. So what have we shown you here? We showed you a very easy way to create reports using the force.com platform and to make those into graphical dashboards. We showed that IT could quickly respond to requests for information. No more putting a report request into a queue and waiting weeks for it to come back. So the reporting is a really key feature of the system, adds a lot of business value to it. Thank you.